Alright, hello, this is Hellrend, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the character editor in the CryEngine. Um, so the character editor can be used for many things. One of its main uses for the game company is to preview animations. But the main thing that I use to make Machinima with Crisis is to make individual characters without the likes of a 3D application like Max or Maya. So, when you first open the editor, you can move around with the same way as moving as in the engine with WASD and holding the right mouse to look around. As you can see, this is the default character. The guy at story, I don't know his name, so don't worry. So, if you want to start with your own character, you can do so by file open. Okay? These are just some of the characters that I've made um, for the start of my new machinima. So, if you back all the way up as far as it will let you go, um, it will see program files. X probably won't be there because I'm on 64 bit position, it will say that. Electronic Arts Cry 6, then go into Game, Objects, Characters, Human. You can have uh, anyone you want. I'm going to use a Marine for example sake marine 4 now as you can see in the preview they have no head and this is all the model is now the head is added with attachments but the head is already here because they've made it but um, if I hide all the attachments here this is what you get when you first open oh wait is your right eye is still there so I want to teach you from this state to get a head on to get <laughs> to get put a head on the character um, put hands on and add a gun and for animation sake okay so I'm gonna create I'm open one that's totally from scratch that I know is uh, if you go to jumpsuit sailor sailor and open this one you have a blank jumpsuit okay so first of all we're gonna add the head so if you go down here and click new and then type in we'll type head wait caps lock is on <laughs> there we go and now do the bones in that before you do anything you want to do a skin attachment uncheck hide attachment and because it's a head you have to add a hinge of minus x minus y and then set all these to zero and you want a material click default and then object now we find the head um, it's usually if you go back it's under characters and then heads and then heads usually have all this in the teeth hair but not the eyes you have to add the eyes in later so we're uh, Caucasian 1 Caucasian 2 and then you'll see that nothing's happening don't worry it's everything's okay you wanna hit apply and then his head will appear see there's his head as you can see he has no eyes but he does have blinky animation because he has the idle head animation okay to add eyes we're gonna add a new eye so L underscore I so that's left eye we wanna go bone attachment and then find bone 20 make sure there's no hinge and then back out find the eyes I usually use eye small because um, they're small eyes and it's easier to make them line up because each head is different shape they don't all line up you have to move them individually into place and because it's an eye you have to have add a material um, so if you want to go objects characters heads eyes and then just eye is good enough and then if you click apply you notice you won't see anything or it could be at the bottom like this yeah at the bottom and um, for some things you have to click align bone attachment and then apply and then he'll be in the head somewhere here like that but um, you, you see you have to scale him and change shape so if you click the move tool you can move him into place 
and then um, just get it in the right inset if you unclick you can see so that's good and then new right eye and as you can see it's kept everything because every time you click on one it keeps everything the same so if you go on right eye and then because I unclicked it I have to select a new object but if you just click ice more again and then apply and then it should be down there or oh, maybe not because it's already a line bone attachment and then move it into position as long as it's on the bone you have to change it to right bone and then apply as long as it's on the bone it will stay in animation that's looking good just across a bit because you're looking a bit goofy uh, 